different about this Duke team today than Duke team a month ago? Well, I think they've clearly made the adjustment now without Ryan Kelly. I think they were still going through a little bit of a transition. Uh, but Mason Plumlee and Seth Curry are both playing at an extremely high level. Uh, Suleiman is coming off of a great game. They have to play tonight, so we'll see how they do tonight at Virginia. Um, and Quinn is playing very well, so they're hitting on all cylinders right now. They're talking. So Sheska said earlier this week that he hoped to maybe get Ryan back for the last couple games of the regular season. Would that even be a, a, a factor, even a Willis Reed factor for if he would be well, back I, I certainly, I, I certainly think having a player of his caliber helps. It gives you another weapon. It, it allows you to rest certain guys. I think he and Plumlee are a great one-two punch. You know, Kelly can shoot the three, and Plumlee's great in around the basket. And Ryan Kelly also can post up. He's, he's a good back-to-the-basket player, very good free-throw shooter. So, you know, losing him certainly uh, is a big loss. Getting him back would certainly be a, a, a real shot in the arm for them. Jim, how do you maybe not guard, just maybe insulate your guys against not thinking that this game is the be-all, end-all, even though it is you know, a chance to clinch? Well, I think... Quite frankly, the media makes it out to be the be-all and the end-all. But when we talk, we talk about every game being of equal importance and that you can't relax and you can't be so up for one game that you don't get up for the next. And when we beat Duke the first time here at home, we had to play Florida State a couple of days later. I thought we played great in that game because we got ready. And then... Uh, after we beat uh, North Carolina at home, I uh, forget who we played next, but you know, guys had to get ready for that one too. That, that might have been at Virginia Tech. I'm not sure. No, I think Florida State again. Right? Yeah, Boston it might have been. Mm -hmm. Was it Boston College? Oh. But uh, every game, every every game is is hugely important. <coughs> you know, one of the, one of the things that's happening right now is people are reading about our team and excited about our team. There's a, a great buzz uh, and people have been looking forward to this game on Saturday since we played them last. But for us, we've had to take it one game at a time. And, uh, you know, someone said to me uh, after we lost to Wake Forest, oh, what the heck happened? I was like, we lost the game to a good team. <laughs> it's like, they're not any good. You should have won. No, they're a good team. They got good players. They're in the ACC. Those guys were highly recruited. And they're a little young. And they play much better at home than they do on the road. And almost every team in the ACC plays better at home than they do on the road. So Duke is no different. They got great fan support. And the place will be packed and rocking probably hours before the game. <coughs> I don't know whether you were in here 